I'm going to start off by just highlighting a recent editorial that we published with Desert Air and some and Root Engineers, two of our members, on the COI approach to HVAC, so capital, OPEX, and yield, CAPEX, OPEX, yield, this sort of perfect try, uh, you know, which ones are the most important and how do we reduce ones and maybe how does it impact the other? So this is a chart that shows on the far right, the different lighting systems. So I would take a look at the, the leftmost red column, the LED column, this would be the most relevant for Massachusetts. And then the scenarios, scenarios one, two, three, and four, going from high dry bulb temperature and high humidity set points to lower and lower dry bulb temperature and humidity set points resulting in lower dew points and lower vapor pressure, vapor pressure differential um, set points. You may see growers use dew point as a set point. You may see them use VPD as a set point, but I'll actually let Mike comment on that because I think growers may try to control to VPD, but that isn't actually what happens sometimes. But for simple sake, often you're gonna hear a combination of dry bulb temperature and relative humidity as a set point for growers. And what I want you to note here, the takeaway from this is just that as set points go lower, the um, size of the HVAC system required gets bigger and bigger. So um, we just wanted to note that when dealing with big major renovations or new construction projects, when they're using LED, they still actually have a fair amount of um, CapEx and OpEx to save if they consider their target environmental conditions and like what is their standard operation um, going to be like. 